Hello YouTube and TCG fans, this is Davide here from Carbound bringing you uh, a first Car5 Vanguard deck profile. Uh, this deck profile is going to be about Liberators. Uh, it's going to be in the description title, so don't worry about that <laughs> or me getting it wrong or anything. Um, so yeah, if you like these videos, uh, do subscribe. Uh, I'm going to try and do as many as possible as I can. Uh, also, given I actually got a job now, so I might be a bit busy, but I'll still make the weekly videos. It's just there might be sometimes a little bit of a delay since the first week can get quite hectic at a new job. But yeah, enough about that. Um, I just saw that I also have 52 subscribers, so that's fucking brilliant. Sorry for my language. But yeah, <laughs> um, I said I was going to do a giveaway at 50 subscribers, so I will make another video uh, over the next week or next weekend about how I'm going to do the giveaway. But yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. Get your friends over so they can compete as well in this giveaway. So yeah, more people, more fun, I guess. But yeah, without further ado, let's get to this uh, deck profile. This is a gold paladin deck profile for liberators, so not for the Ezels or anything else. So yeah, and this is BT thirty, a uh, BT fourteen. Sorry, Jesus, English. <laughs> so we start off with our starting vanguard, which is a very common used one, which is Spring Breeze Messenger. I'll um, I'll zoom it in. I'll save reading everything out because I know people just want to see the cards. So there you go. You can pause it. I'm gonna do this with every card in a deck profile, so you can just read it, and it kind of saves time. Um. I will give a general explanation though. So uh, the reason why I picked this one is because you can call, what uh, you can look at the top three cards of your deck and choose one. The other ones go to the bottom. And if people know Liberators, if you call something from the deck, it always gains an effect. Like for example, Bruno is one of them. Uh, it's also my deck. You'll see it later. He gets plus attack, so he's really good to have. Yeah, definitely recommend this one or the Trumpeter. I don't have it on me right now, but uh, I might do it. I'll, I'll just put it in the description so uh, you guys can see that. So yeah, that's the starting Vanguard. Spring Breeze Messenger. Just put that here. Next one are my great ones. Um, three perfect guards. A Halo Liberator Mark. Here you go. Here's the artwork. And this is the effect for people who aren't familiar with perfect guards. Um, most people run four, I run three. Why? One, it's cheaper. <laughs> but secondly, I don't believe that one extra perfect guard will make a difference. I think it kind of clogs up your deck and I'd rather use it for another grade one or possibly grade two that offers a lot more. So yeah, I'm, I'm always running three perfect guards unless you have like a very limited deck. For example, like my Ancient Dragon deck, I only run um, four. I run four there, yeah. So that's like an exception to the rule. But in most of my decks, I only run three. I don't believe in the whole four thing. So yeah, might also end up being cheaper to watch my deck profiles or, you know, try to net deck me. I'm actually perfectly fine with people net decking me or proving me wrong or whatever. Next one is Little Liberator Marin. Um, 7k, if your Vanguard is a Liberator, he gets plus 3,000 when it attacks. So yeah. Uh, a staple to have really. I have I run four of them. It's a staple for liberators. Maybe it'll change soon with BT fifteen. There might be a good grade one amongst them. I haven't checked the list though, even though it's coming out soon. Um next one. Fast Chase Liberator Josephus. I run three of these. Here you go. Hang on. Camera zoom. There you go. Again, like this is an effect when you call it from the deck, so you can see Spring Breeze Messenger really fits in. So, yeah, that's his effect. This is how he looks. So, yeah, I run three of them. Again, I don't, I don't really need to explain much why I have Josephus in my deck, because, uh, well, you read the effect. So, there's not really much to explain about that. Next one is Bruno. I run two of them. Uh, I used to run four uh, and three. I tried different ones. Um, I'll explain in a second why I only run two right now. Um, here's the effect if you want to read it. Zoom, focus. There you go. So there you go. Not 
any point in me going over it or like reading the effect to you guys i'm sure that you guys are able to read so i'll save yourselves the time run two of them um i ran four first because i run these now uh barkle liberators many people don't like them um, think it's a waste of a double r but i'm trying it out right now and i'm actually quite happy with it because even though I only run two blaster blades, I'm actually thinking of upgrading to three blaster blades. Uh, and I think these will come in handy, especially with set 15. I think it's really focused around blaster blade liberator, so I might give that a go. So that's why, right now why I'm running two Barco liberators to see how it actually meshes up with my deck. Um, I'll zoom it in so you guys can read it. There you go. You can pause this video if I'm moving too fast. So yeah, there you go. So these are all my grade ones. Um, to give a quick recap, we have the perfect guards. I only run three, don't need any more. Four Marins, they're 7k. If your Vanguard is a Liberator, he gets plus 3000, so it becomes 10,000. Josephus, if you call it from the deck, you Soul Blast one and you are and you can draw a card. Bruno, if something is called from the deck, it gets plus 3,000. Or you can give... Oh, the unit. Sorry, only he gets plus 3,000. And then you have Barco Liberators who give Blast... When it uh, battles... No, when it boosts a Blaster Blade Liberator and it hits, you can look at the top three cards from your deck. You, search, you take one of them with Liberator in its name and you call it to the rear uh, tap, though. So... That's the only downside to it. But yeah, so these are all the great ones. Um, I'll move on to the great twos now. Again, like um, you'll see that it's similar to uh, many other people. Not that I net deck, because I don't think anyone does this. So this is like my own, like this is what I made myself. So don't worry about me net decking. Four, Liberator of Royalty Fallon. I'll zoom in. It's basically a 9k grade 2, and if it, uh, if you have a Vanguard with Liberator in its name, it gets plus 3,000. So it's pretty self-explanatory what he is doing in this deck. So let's move this up a bit so we can make room for when the grade 3s come. So I run four of them. Makes perfect sense. Um, I run three Escrats. Here you go. I'll zoom in. You can pause again. You want to read it there you go awesome it's a very good card counter blast one when did when he hits the vanguard and you can look at the top of your deck top card of your deck and call it to the rear very useful to have it's um player of the holy bow vivian but better <laughs> and for liberators so next one two blaster blade liberators there you go for people who still aren't familiar with the most over printed card in existence he's got more reprints than blue eyes <laughs> nah just kidding nobody can top that there you go again i run two uh i'm planning on running three to try it out and or four even it's depending on which new grade twos come out but yeah might give it a go it's always uh, good to experiment and my last two are these. Blue Skies Liberator Hengist. I'll uh, let you zoom in. There you go. Many people don't like it because it's Counter Blast 2 to draw a card. But sometimes I find that I, I really don't run out of Counter Blasting. So it's really nice to have that extra card. Which is why I'm running it right now. Uh, I've played a few games and one time it actually saved me in all honesty so i am giving it like i'm uh, letting it run several more times to see if it actually is the real deal or if i just lucked out so if it's consistent i'm gonna actually try and stick with them so yeah next up the great threes I'm gonna go with the big boys now three solitary liberator gansalot People who aren't familiar with it, here comes the effect. Once my camera zooms, focuses, there you go. Pause the video if you want to read everything. I'm going to move on. There you go. I run three of them. Many people run four. 
again i don't believe in that i run three so i have more room for other grade threes and you'll see in a second why next cards are liberator of the round table alfred now many people got him out when zenith came out but i still believe he's good and he is actually reserving a spot for the new alfred which is monarch sanctuary liberator alfred i think he's called so here's the effect you can pause the video okay i'll put him out there's also three uh like i said they're actually reserving the bt15 alfred which is coming out next month but for now they still run really well like they're one of my favorite cards the way they look aesthetically i mean it's alfred we always thought he was cool so you know it's really nice to have him until he gets his uh, massive upgrade and the last grade three two Gancelot zenith now let me just zoom this one here in for you you can pause it to read its effect because it's quite a long one there you go Okay, I'll just put it back down. So I only run two of them because like I said, it's kind of like also in anticipation of BT15 that I'm getting the three Monarch Sanctuaries. But in all honesty, Zenit runs really well, but I really like Alfred. I feel like Alfred is a little bit more consistent, especially in the Liberator deck. But it's nice to have both options. And I think two Zenits are okay. Depending on how Monarch Sanctuary runs, if it's a disappointment, which I know it won't be, <laughs> but if it for some miracle is, I might get an extra Zenith and get one less Monarch Sanctuary Alfred. So yeah, uh, this is currently the deck. Um, for triggers, very simple. For draws. For heals. And... 8 crit which is kind of like the standard right now so there you go yeah Not my triggers here there you go so um to give you some basic explanations about uh game situations for example um let's make a custom scenario uh let's see let's start with for example Let's explain Zenith. Zenith is one of the best uh, best cards right now to have in your Liberator deck. Now, you've seen the effect. If not, Counter Blast 1. It's li Limit Break 4. Counter Blast 1. Card with Liberator in its card name. Choose one of your grade 2 or less rear guards and put it on the bottom of your deck. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, you pay the cost. And if you do, look at the top card of your deck. Well, it's you may pay the cost, but you, know, you do it anyway. Uh, you look at the top guard of your deck. You search for up to one gold paladin from among them. You call to an open rear. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck. And that unit gets plus 10k. So, yeah. So, you're attacking. And you use that effect. And for some odd miracle. You call. Wait, you have him on the back, and you call a Josephus. So you put Josephus here. Now, because he gets called, hang on. Yeah, when he, when he gets called, you soul blast one card from the deck, from uh, the soul. So let's say we do that, one from the soul, and you can draw a card. So that's already one card you can add to your deck. There you go. Because he got called, he gets plus uh, three thousand. So this. And he gets plus 10,000. So he's 17 and he's 10. So if you have, for example, what's a common thing to happen? You have Fallon on the rear. There you go. Move that a bit. There you go. And you have something else in this column. But right now, let's not, let's, let's not concern ourselves about that. So, and this is without the break ride, okay? This is without break riding a Gansloth under it. He will have... 11 and here's 10 which is 21 which is the number you're looking for you don't want to like for example go 19 or you want to go 24 you want to go over like trigger stops like because you know triggers uh, guard stops because you have like 10k and 5k you can add so it's always like kind of you have to go over it with a trigger 
So if you get those odd numbers, it's really good. So you actually do, you get 21, which is good. You kind of force an extra uh, guard from their hand or from their field. Now this one, remember, gets plus 10,000. So that's 17,000 and he becomes a 12. That's 29 in total. So you, by using Zenith's effect, a rear does more damage. Not necessarily, like, it doesn't really help Zenith that much, unless you break right before with uh, Solitary Liberator Zenith. But you, you can imagine what kind of damage you can do. Like, if, let's say in the dream case scenario right now, you would have a, Z uh, a Gansloth in it. Like, Gansloth like this, for example. And let's pick another grade 2 on the side. Uh, let's take this one. Flash the blade and we'll take Barkle Liberator as well. So let's say this is your field. This. And then you go, okay, you know what? Um, it's time for the break ride. You break ride. So your Zenith already gets 10,000 and an extra 2,000 because the other uh, Zenith is on the bottom. So he already gets like plus 12,000, which makes him 23. So he's currently at 23. Because of the break ride from Ganseloth, you can give three of your gold paladins plus, plus 5,000. That's the only effect? Yeah. Yeah. So, 5,000, 5,000, and for the fuck of it, 5,000. And then you use Zenith's effect, boom. And he gets another 3,000. Now, you're looking at, again, a 29k column right here. Here, you're looking at uh, 10,000 and 23, 33, and here you're looking at 5, 5, that's 19, 19, 26. So that is what happens in one turn, once you use the both, both the Gansalots. If you use uh, Alfred, it's kind of the same, but uh, uh, Alfred is a little bit more consistent in that the more liberators you have on the field, the more attack he gets. I mean, if you read his effect again, he gets plus 2k for every liberator. So, again, he's good to have that. Like, Zenith is good for the initial burst. Ooh. Like, he gives a good burst. But if you want to go consistency, I'd still go with Alfred. Because he also stops you from, like, draining your deck too much. Because Zen is constantly, like, retire call retire call and you keep like retiring units in order to have his plus 10,000 effect so he is good but Alfred is still a little bit more consistent and uh, yeah I, I prefer I still prefer Alfred over Zenith but the new Alfred I think will blow away any any deck so yeah that's kind of like the most complicated situation that you'll have with liberators and the one thing you really are looking for like i said zenith is good for when you have to do that push like you're behind like you have four damage he has two damage you run that zenith and you literally over blow him with all with all those numbers i just showed you but if you if you're like even you're like both on four damage five and it's like a back and forth with heal triggers and draw triggers and stuff alfred tends to come out on top with, due to his consistency so yeah um, that's pretty much my deck profile I don't run any quintet walls by the way so uh, I still don't believe in it when Legion comes I'll add them but for now I don't see the point so yeah so this was my liberator deck I hope you guys like it um, I'm gonna try and do a few more uh, my other gold paladin deck my Azul deck is almost finished I'm off two cards I think yeah so I'll do a deck profile on that as well. Um, I think I might do one soon on my friend Spike Brothers. Not sure. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so that was my deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, please do subscribe. I'll try and make them more often. And uh, before I go, I just want to give a little shout out to my friends over at Chaos Cards. Uh, most of these cards I bought and the boxes all I buy is all from them. Uh, they always have discount codes. Their customer service is basically brilliant. Um, I really 
need to give my hats off to that because I've had experiences with other shops before. I'm not going to say any names, but they uh, weren't as pleasant to deal with as with Chaos Cards. So yeah, definitely. Uh, if you guys want to get into Car 5 Vanguard or any trading card game or any board game or you need accessories, go to them. They're amazing. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Enough uh, sponsorships. <laughs> Thank you guys for watch watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.